Guys, my special's coming out. I'm excited. It comes out March 1st. March 1st, it's called No Country for Old Women. It's going to be on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. Um, and it's Women's Month, so you have to support it. And it's comedy, and it's funny, and so why not support it? Get over there and watch it. I don't know why I'm saying get over there. Like, get the... F um, I'm excited for you to see it because it's really funny and I think you guys are going to love it. Check it out on the Comedy Store YouTube channel. No Country for Old Women comes out March 1st. It's funny. It's great. I'm excited about it and I can't wait for you guys to see it. We are rolling. So, so exciting. This is, this is strange. Why is it strange? You know, Comedy Store fucking podcast. strange. I mean, it's Throw this fucking water on you. You know Please. why it's strange? Go ahead, don't. I'll melt. I'm Rick a witch. Ingram is too cool for us. I had, to, they had, I had to bail him out last minute. He's big time, he's Rick. He's too big for yeah, us. Yeah, he's Rick. never coming in here. He's like, what? The comedy star. Well, you want how to do go you in get, the basement? How do you, but this is like a new thing here. Nice to see you, Kelly. What's up? <laughs> Kelly, What's up? exciting. Hello. Well, hi, hi, hi. This is like a new thing here. It, right? Is this, but <laughs> oh, so Rick's boy. your co host. Rick is my co host. And look but... who you're staring at. <laughs> Not cool. Times have changed. <laughs> there's, a, there's a fucking problem Dude. if Rick doesn't. What is it? What happened? Rick has kids, man. We were smart, Paulie. We didn't have kids, right. so he's got to deal with that. Yeah, he's stuck. They got bedtime. So maybe this is this is the new. You're, I'm your new co-host. I mean, oh, I literally shit. live like two blocks away. <laughs> this could be it. Maybe we'll maybe you're your setting me up. Picture right we'll over Rick's. This picture. Where's this picture? Right there. Put a shit. sticker oh. over it. <laughs> a sticker. <laughs> be hilarious. So how do we big... start this? So you with, start it with what? We Welcome kamikaze to the comedy store pod, podcast. Sure, comedy store podcast, but we usually we, kamikaze it. Like we just get into it. Okay, okay but you don't do a setup for it. No, with that. Me Really? Be, no, that's so not comedy store to set it up and okay. put it together properly. <laughs> we like to just... That makes sense. Well, why don't I set it up? Okay. So we're here in the studio at the comedy store. My name is Polly Shore, <laughs> Eleanor Kerrigan. Hi, Eleanor Kerrigan. we got Kerrigan. Kelly Myers. Hello, Kelly Ryan. And we got Ryan, Rick Ingram. Ryan, Ryan, oh, wait, Rick Rick's Ingram, not here. Ingram's not here. I'm not the co-host. I'm not her co-host. Usually Rick's here, but Brian was texting me. We do guest co-hosts a lot, though, because sometimes Rick's on the road, sometimes I'm on the road. Oh, so so we do mix. Isn't it weird. In. No, it's not weird to the audience. They've seen um a oh, couple so. guest hosts. I've had I've had Brian Holtzman, which was a uh, pretty interesting. <laughs> okay, so yeah. people flip flop. So it's yeah. a rotating, rotating. Yeah, if so we're because we if do we're the road rotating, so much. Where the fuck's my photo then? Dude, I, we're gonna what we're gonna have to do, Brian. We should right? <laughs> right. Can you can you Chiron it in? Yeah. We're gonna have like a bunch right. of different pictures come up, and yeah. then it goes to me and Rick. So but, we're ma we're basically here because Kelly Ryan, yes. she just got passed as a paid regular. How long has it been now? Uh, wh when did I get passed? June? Yeah. I think. June. Don't pretend so, like you so, didn't remember. Well, it's yeah, because I was thinking about where I was. <laughs> I was in Austin uh, in June. Oh, and wow. I think she had to call me so when I was on the road. So SOS was like a blimp or something <laughs> over Austin? <laughs> it, was a, it was a phone call. I was in Forever 21. Were you working at the Comedy Store South? I mean, uh, the mothership? No, I... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was at Cap City. Oh, this is okay. a lovely club. It's Can a great I say club. something? Yeah. yeah, I would like to be. Um, I would like to be snarky to her. I want you to. I would no. I would like to be. Oh, uh -huh. I would like to be. But Got I've it. seen her set and she's very funny. Oh, she's oh, hilarious. Yeah, That's why so, you can be thanks. snarky with her because she yeah. can I take know, it. I know, but yeah. you, I've seen so much comedy my whole life. You know, running, so running around upstairs. Yeah. And, you know, all these people come on stage and and then I'm just like oh like that and then I saw her and she's funny. She's you know, thanks. Great. Or like you I see people. It. You Good see job. people get passed and you're like how the fuck did that happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What pills were they on that day? You know. So how long? How long you been? doing stand-up for? Oh, I mean, it's hard to say because hitting the ground uh, do all in probably about seven years. Yeah. But I technically did my first set in high school. Okay. So that was when I was 17, so 13 yeah. wow. years ago. And then, yeah, and then you were talking about your sister works at Jones Cafe yeah. on 3rd Street. So I yeah. see her. Yeah. And then she told me that you're dating... Or married to. Yeah, I'm dating Bruce Gray. Yeah. yeah. Are you married? I, no, 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 no. Oh, no. I was just saying Mazel. Yeah, I yeah, didn't know no, that. No, no. I didn't mean I to say it Bruce in that way. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Heavens, no, so, no. So, did, so when Bruce you got... Bruce funny, too. Yeah, yeah. When, you, yeah when you got passed as, a, um, as a, uh, a paid regular, were you working the door? Were you working the phones? So, like, how did that happen? Because yeah. I never saw you really... 
you yeah. know, out front. You know. So Adam put me in development in 2019. And then, um, you know, the pandemic happened. Right. And then I over the pandemic, I moved to Vancouver, Washington, just to save some money. Mm. And then I moved back. And uh, then, you know, Emily was here and I had to kind of... But you never worked the door or the phones or any of that no. shit. That's for he Renee Lancaster. <laughs> yeah. The Slayer. We call him Renee's Slayer. Keeping that. Slayer. Yeah. Keeping no, I had a tech job. The, Renee's job. the white version of Doc. <laughs> <laughs> he's our new doc. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Renee like, always says to me, he's like, when am I gonna come? Why can I open for you? I'm like, when you know, I don't know. Maybe fucking don't <laughs> see, keep opening for the keep doing the Johnny Menzel fucking joke that you've done for 17 years, bro. Renee, I hope you're listening. Yeah. I know most, a lot of comics listen to this because they yeah. want to hear if they get he's, talked about. Yeah, he's, oh. The thing is, Renee's funny or off stage. Renee's He's fucking wow. hilarious. Oh. What? I'm just saying. No, I believe you. He is I fucking believe you. hilarious off stage. So I think maybe he it's is time funny for him also. to go. What? Uh, dude, Ray, I'll you got to fucking go, dude. Become an actor. You're a funny actor than a comedian. I'll tell you, and I always tell and Renee. he is very funny. Very I funny. tell a lot of the comics this, is that, I don't know if you remember this, but like your mom, which Mitzi Shore would come in yeah. and she would say, I want to see all the staff. And she mm. would make the staff showcase mm. over and over. Kind of like she, Hamas, you know, you just bring much. them all out naked. <laughs> sure. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> Hamas, they were, like you know a firing they range. Were, they would go running. <laughs> they would go naked, running yeah. because they would be so scared to get in front of her. And mm. then she, if she didn't see development, mm. yeah. she got rid of you. Damn. Yeah, she would have. So we yeah, didn't have door guys yeah. for that extensive yeah. amount of time, yeah. or door people, because she she was smart. And if yeah. you don't develop, like mm -hmm. whereas what I think Paul is saying is that Renee stuck. He's Renee stuck. stuck. Yeah, he's, he's in gotta, the matrix. He's got to go. Yeah, and, and so he, you know he's got to go, and he's got to hit the road or something. Move to Austin. Anything. I would move to Austin. Oh yeah, that's a great. But idea. then Adam's yeah. not going to hire him there either. So anyways, <laughs> so I would just maybe go We've back home. We've reached a dead end. But, sorry, to, sorry, we changed from, your, from, your, from from your beautiful you know knighting you here at the Comedy Store to Renee's Lancaster. I love. Not cool, bro. <laughs> we're we're proud of you, Renee. Not so much, but yeah. we are proud of you. <laughs> uh, Renee, Renee though is the Renee's king of great. the naughty pig down the street. Yeah. Have you heard that? Well, that's probably why he's fucking Hilarious. hasn't written any jokes mm -hmm. in the last mm -hmm. so fucking time. He's crushing over there. Is it a what is, is the, the naughty, naughty pig? pig? Is that a stand up spot? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, a bar. But just a bar, yeah. yeah. So he just holds court? He just, I, he just, he, anytime anyone wants to go anywhere, he's like, mm. naughty pig. Excuse me. Yeah, I like um, this. Did, did you, were you looking here to take my picture? <laughs> No, no, because I seen you standing over there and I said, thought you wanted to take my picture. I mean, you wanted to take a picture, right? With the famous face? Is that what you wanted to do? Take a picture, it's right? the famous uh -huh. face of fame. The international How famous face of fame. <laughs> do you know Andrew Dice Clay? He, uh, I, I don't okay. know him personally, okay. but I obviously know of him. She, <laughs> she, know, she, went, on, she went on stage with him uh, at the Wiltern about two months ago. Oh, yeah, yeah it was, was so much fun. Sick, dude. So, what a cool club. Yeah. Uh, of a club. What a cool thing. Theater yeah, to work. Amazing. Yeah, but you have you have a hard job. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Because yeah. there's no opener. Respect. Respect. Yeah. Respect. You got a hard, no. She's got it's a hard a, job. It's like fucking. It's like getting punched in, in the, the face. You know. You're just like, hey, what's up, guys? Oh yeah, Paul, Andrew will be out here in a second. You know. And yeah, but you powered through it. But sometimes yeah. you come out and like as a woman, they're like, oh, is this a sacrifice? You know. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 You yeah, kind yeah. of have his cadence a little bit. You well, yeah, just the toughness. Yeah. yeah, you gotta, yeah. you you gotta like. Cause they they do heckle. Like somebody said, somebody was like, "There's no way people still yell, show me your tits.'" And I'm like, "They fucking do." Oh yeah, I believe it happened that night. Probably. And I yeah. was like, "It's a dice crap." They're yeah from a while ago. Mm. Yeah. So they still say dumb stuff just to try yeah. to throw you off. Oh yeah, so, it's kind of so, funny. So you and your sister. So when did you decide? <laughs> to, so when did you decide to start doing stand up? Uh, I started. A senior year. So uh, when I was 17, I did. And what made you, who, uh, what, wh who was the comic Ooh, that yeah. you looked up to? Was it Roseanne? Was it Ellen? Was it, you know. Was who's... it me? Uh... <laughs> no, but it was, you know. Cause... You came later in life. I, <laughs> But I used to, I was like, Eleanor is the coolest person ever. Oh. There was some bringer show I was on where you were doing an actual spot. Oh. It was a Tammy Joe show. Oh, yeah, I did a lot and, of Tammy Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love and I Tammy remember Joe. watching Eleanor and being like, Holy fuck. And then the, I saw you. I swear did I see you. This was like years ago, but I saw you 
in my neighborhood at one point, and I came up to you. We were here at the store, and I was like, hey, I saw you. Like, I was so nervous. And I was like, I saw you in my neighborhood. And you go, <laughs> okay. And I go, yeah. And I just, you know, I thought that was, I thought that was crazy. <laughs> what were the odds? And you're like, all right. And then you walked away, and I looked at Bruce. I go, she hates me. <laughs> she hates me. He's like, well, what, what do you expect someone to say to you when you just say you saw them? That's so get, funny. Uh, he was like, did you say hi? I go, no. <laughs> just humiliating. I don't even remember it, so I love that. Yeah. That's no. the beauty of being yeah. old. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, wait, like, so who did you look up to? Who did you? Um, Obviously, Joan cure. Rivers I watched over oh, and yeah. over and over again. Great. Um, and I had a computer in my room that I was glued to, mm. and my parents, oh, oh. they were like, uh, you know, th- I would only come down for dinner, but I was I watched a lot of Joan Rivers, a lot of Sarah Silverman. Oh, I love Sarah. Um, you know, I there was Jim Jeffries, which was, and then I I had a Ricky Gervais moment where I was like, oh, like oh, maybe I'm an atheist. You know, I had that <laughs> moment, and I We're said just that. Grasping. I, oh yeah, anything to be like, oh maybe I could, maybe I could reinvent myself and whatever. And my parents were like, I don't, did you know they they. Always, they love stand up too. Oh, so they oh, were wow. always playing Jim Gaffigan, Brian Reagan. We That's great. all love Kathleen Madigan. Oh, like, she's excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's funny to like, um, I mean, my whole family. And then what likes about stand-up. your sister? She's not a stand up. No, but she is TikTok famous. She and is. she's very yes. funny. Uh, yeah. She does like yeah, she does videos sketches, in her car. Which yeah. is hysterical. She like, does sketches. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, she she's does so funny. stand up. And then this one's sketches, but they're yeah. both like yeah. equally hilarious. Thanks. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's great. She's. Um, She'll and, be doing stand up in a year. Yeah. She's done stand up before and she did well, but she's yeah. just like, I just. Hey, she's like, I. Is she making money off of the TikTok? Yeah, yeah, she's making some she's money. Doing, is she so on OnlyFans? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we don't. That's Allie and I, Allie and I are a different brand, I think, <laughs> than the OnlyFans crowd. Yeah, well, you, know? you never know. We're not. I mean, yeah, you know. OnlyFans is everybody. I do the yeah. elderly fans. I'm yeah. on there. Elderly it's just fans. Not, I don't know. It makes me feel. I, it just makes me feel. Have you weird. been on OnlyFans lately? Or no. no. Have you ever been on OnlyFans? No, no, no. Have you ever been on OnlyFans? No. I did yeah. my friend Karen Freehand's uh, podcast, and it's called Only Freehands because mm-hmm. she got big on OnlyFans. Uh, yeah. I don't yeah, know if I mean, you know her. People, Very funny works comic for some from New York. Really, really well. Yeah, yeah. She crushes yeah. it, but yeah. she owns it. Like yeah. she don't give a shit. And yeah. then her podcast is called Only Free Hands. Yeah. And so I just, I was like, is this me on OnlyFans? So, like, yeah. So okay. So you're a paid regular here at the store. Congratulations. Love this. Thank cool. you, Russell. Are you featuring for people? You headlining? Yeah. Who are you featuring? for? I feature for Anthony Jeselnik. Okay. Great. So yeah. Cool. So I'm gonna be with them all next year. I'm so excited. All next year? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah. So Ed, he's doing theaters all yeah. over the world, country. Yeah. What? Yeah. So like the next part until the end of April is all still United States. Okay. Type stuff, and then um, I believe the plan is to go Europe, Australia. Those are the two. Nice. But nice. Um, yeah, it depends on a few things, but it's, I, I mean. As far as everything looks, we're good to go. Congrats. That's excited. great. Yeah. Because it is so, so important to go on the yeah, road. Yeah, are you going to sell his merch and stuff? Uh, no, he has like a QR code that he does. So yeah, but you got to be out there slaying merch. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you work yeah. for Paulie. No, oh. everyone does it. <laughs> he, really? I never had to do it. He's well, a very merch. Does merch. He's a very doesn't really go out to the people mm. type of guy. Ah, got like, it, yeah, got yeah, it, got yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's very like yeah, I mean, you make good money yeah. on your merch. Like his yeah, merch it, sells like hotcakes. It's yeah. All, yeah, it's great. For me, it's just about touching the people, high fiving them, taking pictures uh, with them. Oh yeah, 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 stuff like that. When I, I think do it's my own yeah. headlining yeah. shows, I do the meet and greets yeah. after every like single I, time. I, I, taught, I try to. Yeah, I taught Jetski yeah. how to do it. Yeah. Oh, good. So when I was on the road, she was doing it for me for a while, and she learned the process, and Frank yeah. Castillo and all these guys, and they learned it. And, and now yeah. she's doing and it. And Jesus, Jesus, all these guys that opened for me, and now they do it. So like a lot of guys, like I'll tell Edgar, you know, Edgar, it's like, dude, you got to sell merch, and he's like the worst. I'm the worst. Yeah. I'm with him. I'm no, terrible he's at just it. Can't, but you have to do it because You're right. not only— You have to understand, people are— Paying to see you, they want to take a picture. They want to. Oh, be I do all you. that. You wanna... I just don't have merch to sell. You can sell your own merch. I gotta figure something out. Yeah, yeah. you can sell your own merch. I gotta. I'm in the process of making it right now, yeah. and it's just like I don't. But I know that I'm gonna do the QR code because I can't be carrying 
shit around. Mm -hmm. And also, I'm at the point where the people that feature for me are like, I don't want to fucking do this. <laughs> well, then they can't feature for you. So the QR, <laughs> they just download it and that and they tell send how old it to you, I am. Right? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, the, the QR so code they can't feel the material the and find out if it's I've, good. I, I yeah. ship the boxes. Uh -huh. I'm old school. Yeah. Because you want to take a picture, you want to sign the shirt right there yeah. and take a picture. Yeah. I'm Everything fine with doing right. like um, like something small I'm going to carry, like either a koozie or like stickers or what, wine bottle opener or whatever. That's fine. But I can't carry t-shirts. So know. so featuring for Jeselnik, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's going to yeah. be really great. Yeah. And then uh, how, how is it going to be 20, 25 minutes? Uh, so yeah, it's 25 if there are two shows. And then if there's one show, I do 30. Oh, oh wow. that's great. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. It's really fun. His yeah. crowds are... So good dark and, and dark love. and smart. And yeah. there's just, I like, there's there's certain material where I'm like, I don't even like doing this in front of you guys anymore because I think, like, it's stuff that's more body image related. And I'm just like, you're not having as much fun with this as all the other stuff that I like to do. Yeah. So I don't need to do this in front of you. Like, when I was featuring, uh, at the start of the year, I did a round with uh, Burt Kreischer. Mm -hmm. And it was like, the material that I did for his group, so different than what I'm doing for Anthony because yeah. they're just, they're there to party Too and have different, a good But time. that's how you got to learn to work yeah. and cry. You got to read the room. Yeah, yeah. And read the room, feel what's there. Yeah. And you work, you work a lot at the, uh, at the Comedy Cellar. In New York, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that? it. I love how's it. That? But again, you, you got to read different. the crowd. Yeah, yeah, sure. it's different. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the original room here is pretty close in that um, we have so much tourists. Mm. We, you know, because some nights, I remember a night, no, every comic's bombing, 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 bombing yeah. hard. And I'm going, what the fuck? So I just started talking to the audience. Yeah. And I was like, where are you guys from? And they're like, Gibraltar. I'm mm. like, The Rock? What? I don't yeah. even know what that is. Mm. That's a real place. What like, did you just say to me? I, yeah. Yeah, but it, and then the other person was like, oh, Norway. Like, mm. it's all tourists. So yeah. they don't know what the fuck we're talking yeah. about. They're just yeah. waiting for Pauly or a Dice or a something. celebrity. So yeah. You, yeah. So, you, so anything else besides stand-up? Because it's, it's, it's a different business now. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about stand-up. Yeah. You, yeah. Are you directing? Are you editing? Are yeah. you oh, shooting? Yeah. Yeah. Are you, do you want to act? So, do you want to model? <laughs> Not a model gal. I Although, could do not. hands. Could do hands. No, but like, because like it's hands. it's the whole kit. It's the whole kit and caboodle, or some people yeah. aren't interested in yeah. doing a lot of different things. You so have to have a triple threat now. Yeah. Before it was like a bonus. Now yeah, it's yeah. like you better. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you have your own podcast too. Yeah, with I have a Bruce? podcast with my sister. Oh, with your sister. Yeah. Okay, cool. What's Night that called? Night Coop. Night Coop. Yeah. Night Coop. And every all there's a bunch of segments. They're all rotating guests. Oh, no, it's just the two of us. Oh, and we're boring. just we're. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> we we have fun. We do good, and uh, the people that love us really love us. The people that hate us hate us. Oh, I love are that. Just like these Don't you two. love haters? Oh, it's so funny. It used to really get under my skin, and then I was really? like, wait a second. Oh. Like you need it to be. It needs to be provocative. You know, sure. And like, uh, you know, people because you go to other people's pages, and then you're like, man, everyone seems so positive, and whatever, and they then delete. The, the negative. That's got to so be what it is. This so you got yeah. your podcast. What else? Yeah. And then uh, you have my an brother agent? and I. Do you have an agent? I have an agent. And, and, they, send you, and they send you out for scripted stuff? Uh, you like go straight to tape and you send the tape in? Yeah. For, so I have Like an back agent in the day, I'd be like, tapes. I'm auditioning for Allie McBeal. Ooh. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got an audition. I got to be on tape. Like that type of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I did that. I've been doing that. Um, I do a little, I like voiceover acting more than regular acting, okay. uh, just because it's more relaxed. And then mm. I can be as like. You do have a good voice. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I, <laughs> I like that, it. <laughs> and then um, my brother and I, my brother's a screenwriter and director. Ugh. So nice. he and I wrote the whole family. A yeah. You guys like the Baldwins. Yeah. <laughs> you got like a whole thing happening. Yeah. yeah Where yeah. are you guys from? Uh, Connecticut. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. East Coast. Damn! For I sure. wish my family did that. My yeah. family. So you got lazy. a sister who's a TikToker. Yeah. You got a dir brother, director, producer. Yeah, that's I got great. A brother you got that's your an boyfriend. Alcoholic. The boyfriend. <laughs> the boyfriend's a stand-up. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, where did you guys spend the holidays stand -up. together? Uh, we went to. So Bruce is from Bakersfield, so we went there for Aww, a couple of days. That is so perfect. <laughs> he's just he, he looks, looks Bakersfield. He's Bakersfield. So, what's so funny is when I was younger, I was like, <laughs> I was like, you know what? What I want to marry, grown up. What I want to date, a Connecticut. From I want to date a blonde, blue-eyed guy from California, and that's what I got. But there in a go. very different way, you know, because when you're in Connecticut, sure. you're like a surfer guy, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I just met a farm Bakersfield. guy. Bakersfield. 
<laughs> you look like yeah. the Earl Skankle type. Wow. <laughs> Her boobs aren't that big. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, so you got the brother that's the director yeah. and the writer. Skankle. <laughs> can't. Go on. Brother that's the director and writer. Yeah, yeah. And so then, what type of stuff is he doing? So he, um, so we just wrote a, um, wrote a movie and we're going to start pitching it this year to like inline producers and whatnot. Very excited about that. It's Proud a horror um, we we love he horror. Did you say? Yeah, it's a oh, horror. Oh yeah, movie. my niece is into that. Yeah, and he he put out a um a short film, a horror movie, just a like a month ago. Uh, it's called Chimera, and it's really mm. good. It's like a sci fi horror movie. Wow. And, I mean, he is so good. Mm. And but I don't know shit about directing. It's like I don't know how to. If he came to me, and was like, "Hey, I want to do stand up." I'd be like, "I know how to do that." Right. I have no clue how you get into directing. Same. I've none. Same. Yeah. I mean, you can direct little shorts and stuff like that's that, exactly. but that's if you know how to yeah. put things together. Yeah. I feel like you have to know how to put things together as a yeah. director. Maybe, oh, this looks better there. This, If you do it this way, this is better. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, yeah, just do it. I'm an idiot. So yeah, I wouldn't I gotta, be able I, to direct. Yeah. And the shitty part about like film and things in film is that it's so much money. Like oh, everything yeah. around it is so much money. So it's like... Hopefully we can get this in front of the right people and I have a good team and I'm sure they're going to send yeah. it where it needs to go. But You want to yeah. be like little baby Esther Pazinski? Oh, Pavitsky. <laughs> what do you mean, um. like wearing crop tops? <laughs> No, she's starring in a movie. I do want to be she, like that. She's starring does, in a movie. Esther has her own movie. Esther yeah. stars in a lot yeah. of shows. Yeah, yeah, I watched yeah. a great sitcom with ex Esther on it. I was uh -huh. stuck on a plane, and I, I couldn't sleep, which is a rarity. Yeah. I'm always asleep on a plane, and I was like, oh, fuck. And so it was like a new show, and mm. I watched it, and I saw Esther, and I watched like three episodes. She was yeah. great. Yeah. I don't even remember what it was called. I was just like, is Esther in this scene? Like, yeah, I was but so, Esther's, yeah, Esther's she's done kills great. It. Yeah, she yeah, does, you know, she's... You know, she's someone that I don't want to tell you who to like, but yeah, I'm just saying sure. she's done well. Oh yeah, you know, definitely. with the comedy, with the acting, yeah. and and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, so, you got yeah. I definitely want to be known much more, like stand up. Like that's the sure the peak of it. Um, Are you good at business? Because I'm not. That's why nobody knows me. I. I <laughs> I'm okay at marketing business. Marketing that was that's my job oh. before this. Like before uh -huh. I I. Quit my day job in July. Oh, okay. Was so the, I had been doing it all up until that point. Was the goal to get in the store? Like, was was that your goal, or were you going everywhere, or you didn't care? You just want to work. You know, it it was always a goal of mine, but it wasn't the goal. Okay. Once I f like it was a uh, because I knew that if I obsessed over it, that I was it won't, going. Yeah. It it won't, and I also like. There was a round of people in like May or April, whenever Bruce got passed, and I wasn't in that group to showcase. Right. And where is this relationship going? Um, Whoa. Uh, hopefully to the the altar, to the moon. Freaking, yeah. yeah. That's sick. Will yeah. you get married here at the that's store? That's a great. That's a great uh, thing about the store, right? Something is gonna be here. Isn't Randall dating? Am I, I'm allowed to say. I don't know what the fuck it. I love is, it. Say the wrong. Are people names. allowed to date here still? Well, my one of my favorite things that Mitzi would do was also like when the comics would date and they mm -hmm. would break up and then all of a sudden they. I hate that person. I hate this person. Mitzi yeah. would make them follow each other. At all. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> in the lineup for like a year. Yeah. And I remember uh, like the comics, but I fucking hate her. Or, you yeah. know, I fucking hate him. Like they yeah. would lose it. Or even if a comic fought, like had an argument, like whatever, she would make them follow each other to get over it. So funny. So funny. You, so dated, I you kinda, dated Dice. I make a lot of mistakes. Are we going to bring yeah. them all up? Or? <laughs> Who else did you date? No, Dice is my um, second ex-fiance. He doesn't like being second, but he is. And, uh, <laughs> Before that, the only other comic was Jason Hartz. You remember Jason? I think, yeah. He yeah, has a yeah. book out right now. Yeah. He sent it to me. I got your book. Calm down, Jason. Wow. He used to go on the tour with Paulie. I mean, he used to go on the road with you. <laughs> oh, Jason Hartz. Yeah, yeah the yeah. little Jewish kid. Yeah. The little, right? He's adorable. He worked for my mom. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, the, Mitzi, yeah. Mitzi called him the penny because yeah. if she asked him to do something. God, what a nice kid he was. The nicest. And he oh just wrote a book God. and it's awesome. He just sent it to me. What's the so, book about? Uh, Heart's Way or Heart's Don't Get Mad. Oh, fuck. He's but what's it about? Me. Is oh, it about his life? A business, yeah. Business okay. life from he, here what? to what he does now. What does he do now? From when he worked here to what he does what now. What does he do now? That's a great question. <laughs> I love you, Jace. 
Sorry, body. Uh, <laughs> but the book is supposed to be really good. It's going to fucking kill me. I was going to have him on. Mitzi called him the penny because she'd go, hey, it, like he'd check out, a clock out. Yeah. And then she'd go, go upstairs and get me this. And he'd go right back and clock in and go upstairs and get it. And then <laughs> <laughs> she, so she called him the penny. She was, God forbid, he didn't get his fucking pennies. Yeah. Right. It's funny. <laughs> I love an ongoing bit like that. That's yeah, yeah, good. yeah. That's but good. he was an idiot. Like when he was her runner, I, like yeah, he was the worst runner. Oh, yeah, he was her worst runner. So, you know, so he was. God love him. It's probably in the book if I read it. Uh, but he would one time he kept her like on a hill in the comedy store van because he had to drop off headshots to his agent. And so he's got Mitzi Shore on a fucking incline. <laughs> I go, what are you doing, man? He's like, I, I got to do it. And I go, did you clock out? <laughs> Funny. Yeah. So read the book, Jason Hartz's book. Uh, Maybe. <laughs> he's going to come on. I'm going to do his podcast too to do it. Wait. Yeah, you'll make this right. You'll podcast. make this right. Everybody's got a podcast. Everybody. And some of them work, some of them don't. Ours yeah. is great because we have rotating co hosts. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People love ours because they never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Did you, and so you didn't want to work here because you had a regular job, a real job yeah. where you made. My parents are now also they make more money. very nervous for me always. And oh, they nice. were. So they're like. Connecticut. They're like, look, we can't have you work in till 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. Everything's we. There's no, there's no, it's, it's, it's where that's the that's very beautiful. Italian they're part supporters. of the family. Yeah. It's we always. And so uh, when I was like, because Adam asked me if I wanted a job here and I was like, I I don't think I can. And my dad right. was like, that's right. Because my dad's from Texas. So he's like, that's right. We will not be working till two in the morning. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but comedy goes sometimes. They, so. they, but they okay. don't need to know that. You Got know what it. I'm saying? Like, as long as so they're I hope unaware. you're not listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they won't. They, hope the Ryans are at home not listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, because my mom, I'd be like, oh, I'm working as a waitress. Oh, that's great. You know, exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bar was set really low in oh. our house. So <laughs> anything was better. And then now she goes, uh, this is a terrible life you've chosen. <laughs> <laughs> that's her favorite thing to say to me. <laughs> she said it to me an hour ago. I'm like, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, mom. I got to go do a podcast. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I tell my parents that I have a show every night this week, they're like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, they'll freak oh out. Oh, my God. How do you do it? How are you going to rest? I'm like, uh, it's, it's a 15. 15 <laughs> I should be okay. Yeah. I have the whole day to prepare for this 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> if I can't do that, I'm fucked. I mean, I don't know. I look at my sister and I'm like, how do I do what I do? How the fuck do you talk to customers? Like, oh, how do you yeah. talk to customers in a way that is not how we do on stage. Mm. Yeah. How are you not able to swear at the That's people? That's the beauty of working and paying you. She, she, gave me, do it. Yeah. she gave me a baguette recently. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Just yeah. A, she saw me look at it. Because so I was like, what the fuck is that? she just randomly was like... Well, no, I, I ordered my food. I had my food. But then we started talking. We became friendly with each other. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of talking about her and Bruce and the store and blah, blah, blah. And I saw these baguettes. They, they just made them on oh, a, yeah. at the Jones. They're great. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck is that? She goes, oh, those are with baguettes. She goes, you want one? I'm like, I guess. <laughs> and she gave me a baguette with some uh, cheese and, uh, cheese oh, yeah. and uh, the ham. Oh, the facel. Yeah. The facel. Our little. So I have so a. So cute. I have the a little chihuahua. baby ones, right? He ate a whole facel. Yeah. No. He ate a whole facel. Yeah. I know. I've seen the chihuahua. Yeah. Yeah. He's a little jerk, and I love him very much. I love having a mean dog. <laughs> I love it. I don't want a nice, like a fucking, like a golden doodle that loves everybody. I don't like that. My friend had a dog named Mickey Mouse that bit everybody that came in the house. <laughs> Every single person that came in. I was like, I fucking hate this dog. Right. <laughs> and they were like, yeah, but we love her. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He won't, he won't bite. He's just rude. Yeah. And he hates other dogs. Do you, like, you don't take him to the dog park? We take Can't. him to the dog park and he's a loner. Mm. And he oh. just walks around, paroles. When we adopted him, his name was Superintendent. Huh. Because they were like, he just run, walks around and paroles the whole mm. area. Hilarious. So he doesn't play and hump on the dogs? No, 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 no. Huh. No, he's very, he's very shy in that way. And he's how big? He, he's like nine pounds. Oh, he's a little he's baby. He's half chihuahua, Aww. half minpin. Yeah. yeah. Do you have dogs still? I do. I have my dog. Who? Buster. Buster. What kind of dog? He's a lab chow husky. Oh. Yeah. That's a great dog. Husky. Yeah. He's what was really Archie? funny. 
Lab Chow Husky. Yeah, same. I'm a oh, tiger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two yeah, yeah. Lab Chow Husky. No, oh, he was no he, no, he was uh, um, <laughs> no, he was a great, lab, great he was a lab Chow. But yeah, I love my dog. Oh, I, I don't know what dog. I would do with a he like. Yeah. It, it makes when whenever like I start feeling stupid about comedy or like you know when like your emotions, you're like, I, why am I getting so emotional over this dumb fucking thing? And then I look at him, and I'm like, who gives a shit? Who cares? Oh, I feel I can move to Montana yeah. with you. I Aww. feel kind of bad for dogs in a way because if you think about it, they can't speak. Right. They can't feed themselves. So yeah. they kind of like have Alzheimer's. Mm. I mean, don't you think? Well, we domesticated because, like, them, so that's why they can't do anything. No, but we they ruined can't. them. <laughs> no, but you're you're basically, I mean, I've you know, people have taken care people have taken care of sick people before. We all yeah. know that. And when you take care of a sick person, they can't speak, they can't feed themselves. That's like your dog. Yeah. I mean, imagine not taking care of your dog. You, your dog wouldn't be like, yo, I got a sandwich. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Be, right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. They, they, you have to care about something besides yourself when you have a dog. But you have it to also you. take care yeah. of it. Yeah, it's forces yeah. you have to take care of your dog and then you have to take your dog out. Yeah, why I don't have a dog. Not, not out. I have what? no responsibility whatsoever. <laughs> yes. I'm the worst. I have literally nothing. Nothing. No. Yeah, I, I can't have a dog. Go, but when I go to Philly, everybody has a dog. So my sister yeah. has a dog. So you, you know, my brothers have dogs. a dog. So uh, it's constant dogs. Uh, my nieces yeah. came over with. The, they have a sheepy poodle ish. Mm -hmm. No, a uh, doodle, doodle sheep, something okay. like that. Yeah, amazing, a doodle curly. Sheep. I can't. It's the cutest I, dog. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit! And yeah. he just jumps up to here. Oh yeah, he's big, and he's just the greatest dog. The mm. sweet. So I go crazy from them, yeah. and I. Then I miss them when I leave, and then yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I should probably get one. And I'm like, no, nah, I can't. And yeah. The, co the cool part about dogs now is that they they pretty much can do anything. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. you, you know, no yeah. one's ever no one's ever like, oh, you can't bring your dog. You can't in go there. anywhere. Yeah. yeah. Remember when Everywhere, you couldn't have yeah, dogs? Back in yeah. the day, I, actually, I did. I recently did go to a Chinese restaurant, and they didn't allow the dog. And I know it's a stupid joke, but <laughs> the fact is, it's like, why the fuck you think you guys out of all the people <laughs> would, would allow a dog in? But you know, you have to show them your, you know, because we you have to carry the emotional support. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, letter from the doctor. Do you yeah. have one? You have one. I have one. Yeah. Yeah. I got How much one. did you pay for that? Hundred fifty. I knew it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> the Maria. But it's, I got I got a regular service animal one. Uh-huh. I don't know. I just I it was 150. I think the emotional support was 60. And I was like, eh, if I'm gonna do it, let's do it. You know? <laughs> and then who when you're on the road or Bruce is on the road and you're not around, who watches the dog? Do you bring the dog? So we've brought the dog before. And he's he's fine. I mean, he's so small. So it's like oh, whatever. Yeah. It's more of just like you know, we had to bring him in like the green room, and like it's just it's a thing. It's a thing. I don't yeah. want it to be, to be a thing, and and I know that certain people will bring their dogs everywhere mm. and make people hold their dogs and watch their dogs <laughs> and whatever. Wow, that's very specific, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, and, facts, and, facts, <laughs> yeah, and uh, I never want to be like that. Okay, because uh, some people some people like dogs, but they don't love dogs. Mm. Right, and my dog gives a lot of kisses. Like he's when he likes you, he's obsessed with you. And it's like some people don't want that. Yeah, some people want to be able to go to the bar without want to be whining licked. and whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or so barked at. Yeah, but he <laughs> uh, typically Allie will watch him. Allie's fine with watching him. Or like my parents love him because their dog passed away over the summer. Wait, oh, hey. so they're Sad. like, they're like, look, if you need to bring him down, it's fine because they moved to Irvine. Oh, okay. So oh, that's great. Yeah, so we saw them. You now know, you have somebody close to watch them. Yeah. That's so nice. who's Bruce going to open for now that you're opening for Jesselneck? He's got to go out with a female comedian, Eleanor. Well, yeah, let's do he it, Bruce. Do, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, he would, I mean, Bruce he, would, he thinks you're so funny, <laughs> you know? I, I, think I he's, don't know. He's got to hit the road now, too. Yeah. It's yeah. time, right? He does yeah. go out, doesn't he? Or? He, he does, like, one-off type things. Got it. Um, okay. But in terms of, like... One person being like, I'm going to take you to mm -hmm. show you the ropes. and I took yada, yada, Cooper yada. to Appleton. <laughs> How was that? It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Cooper's Cooper. So he's funny. old no, school he's looking. Good, yeah. He is. I don't yeah, know his. Yeah. I, I, I haven't seen him on stage, but I love Ever? his look. Uh -uh. I have that known Cooper yeah. since open mics. Really? And Cooper has always been so fucking funny. Yeah. And fun. And just, I like how he. I like how he talks to other comedians. 
he is can be so brutal to other people and just direct and just I feel like a, there's so much fakeness and for a guy sure. who's from LA to be oh, this he's from here? he's from oh, Burbank wow. I think to be so direct and blunt I love and his whatever bushy eyebrows. he definitely stands he like me. an old school comic on stage <laughs> yes. yeah you know yeah what I mean he has that kind of posture and stuff yeah. But, but yeah he's, he's, a, he's a great comic yeah he did great well, I gotta yeah. check him out yeah, okay great. yeah he's, he's dark I hear he's people talk about who they like and who they don't, you know, who's yeah. good and who, you know, because of the cattiness of working here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you always trash everybody. I mean, yeah. shit, we did it for years, but we did it like, because we, I wasn't a comic when I worked here. So it was like always, especially the waitresses, like, ugh, this one again. Yeah. He's going to try to feel me up and then he's mm. going to go ugh. on stage and bomb and we're supposed to get excited. Like, yeah, 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 well, yeah. We were yeah, so yeah. mean to people, well, but it was, I mean, because it was our, you know, just yeah. every night, but you guys are seeing each other every Every night. Oh yeah. So you know who you who yeah. Crush Cooper is, is and is who's a one off. And, the, and, the, and there the, are the one offs, and it's and it's. And then um, you you and Bruce live together. Yeah. And then Allie so that's also per- lives with us. Fuck, that's like a whole thing. My that's friend, a great. No, it's cool. It's awesome because my friend Jason lives with his wife. Obviously, they're married, but they also then go to work together. Oh, mm. so that's what you that's guys tough. do. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, you guys are you're but at as home, a comic, and then you go. Yeah, it's a little easier. But no, to, this is a separate. family place, so it's like you're here with him here. You're here with right. Yeah, that's yeah. Some real. That's cool. It's it's good because it's like you know when I'm when I'm out like on the road like obviously like it sucks being away. Mm. So when but if I'm you know when I come back we are still like we are together a lot. We yeah. get to be together a lot. Well, you if, lo- you love each other not yeah. just as as boyfriend and girlfriend as friends. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I and think that's the most important. And we respect each other's other other comedy. Yeah, which yeah. I feel like it's very important. Very important. If one's but, not funny, ugh. And the other is. And they always assume that the chick is not going to be funny, but I've dated some dudes that were just not funny. I get it. It's like just, who? I dated... <laughs> Give me the list. <laughs> I dated this guy in Orange County. Ooh, this is actually a good story. I love it. Okay, this. so... Um, and this was the, my first time coming to the comedy store. Okay. In 2016, because I had moved out here in 2016. And first time coming here... And um, I was with a guy that I had been dating. Mm -hmm. And I'm on the patio. And um, he... He was like, hey, I got invited to go to the back. Like the, he was, he sacred called it ground. sacred ground. He was like, I got invited to go to sacred ground. So can you wait here? I'm going to go back there. Okay. So oh, hell he no. goes back there. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I don't even know. I Like, what do I do? I don't mm. know anybody, whatever. Right. Drawn Horton sees me, mm-hmm. comes over and he's Not like, drawn. what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm just, uh, just chilling. He goes, are you a comic? And I was like. Yeah, but I, you know, I just moved here. And he's like, you here alone? I go, no, I, no, not really. And he was like, oh. He's like, well, you know, you smoke weed? I go, yeah. He goes, well, you want to go to the back? Ground, right? And I go, yeah, I'd love to go to the back. So <laughs> it's go, legal here, I guys. go to the back. Relax. I go to the back. And yeah, yeah. I walk back with him. And my boyfriend is looking at me. And he's like, how the hell did you get back here? And he goes, he goes, who? I just met somebody. Like, Bye, buddy. I literally, I go, I go, oh, I met. I met him. <laughs> and Jaron's like, what's up, dude? And he's like, what's up, dude? Like, they're like looking at each other. And I, because I didn't mention to Jaron that I was just, you know, just a, just, just a, a friend. 23 year old girl <laughs> hanging out on the patio, willing to smoke some weed. Oopsies, you know, whatever. <laughs> so I, I go back there. He's fuming, blah, blah, blah. I get past my first spot as a paid regular. I'm following Jaron Horton. <laughs> Isn't what about the a other beautiful dude? Beautiful little bow. That's a beautiful bow. But what you know about what? the other dude? Um, he not I, passed. Not pat. Hasn't been here in years. Went yeah. to sacred ground, but not passed. Huh? Oh, hate to see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is mean though. We get mean. Like once you get pat, you're like, oh, I made it. Yeah, well, it's and it's also like to anybody who made you feel like you were never going to. Yeah. It's like because he he would always say, and like, well, would, you're not gonna be a store comic. Like he would say that to me. The main thing is is that she, you, me, we found something that gets us out of bed. That's right. And mm-hmm. there's a lot of people that don't have that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You meet people all the time. Yeah. You and know, she place... was she was a server here. That's when I knew her. Mm-hmm. 
you know, when she was running around like all these girls. And then yeah. 20 years ago, right? Yeah. You decided so, about stand-up. 16. I'm yeah. 16 years into okay, stand-up. So yeah. she's like one day like, I'm going to do stand-up. <laughs> so it's like... Mental illness. But, but the other word for <laughs> I assume it's something that's been in you for a long... Well, you're an actress No, it was a, I was an actress. Yeah, but you're it, an yeah. actress. In all honesty, it was like after Freddie, Soto passed. Yeah. And Freddie would always... This comic that I was very close with, but, yeah. um, Polly as well. But he... Uh, he passed away very young mm. but he would constantly be like dude you're fucking up why aren't you doing right. stand up yeah. and there was a few other comics Rogan yeah. used to do it too like mm. why aren't you yeah, on yeah. stage yeah. you know you're yeah. holding court in the kitchen uh -huh. which what the fuck are you doing it's very yeah. rare too that stand ups will tell an actress to do stand up because I well, find well Kirk Fox was that too yeah, yeah. oh it's yeah I remember rare. when Kirk started yeah. he was yeah. terrific yeah if, if someone I mean if he still is but if a comedian just, says you should do stand up Stand up that is like because comedians are competitive, so like it, when people stop doing stand up, yeah. people are like, I don't give a shit, you know, whatever. But for someone to be like, no, 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 put your name into the mix, like that's yeah. huge, yeah, that's huge. But, but yeah, like that's the thing about you know, um, people ask me all the time, they're like, I'm thinking about getting into stand up, and that, that. I'm like, yo, unless it, it's it's not a way, it's not a job, it's not a hobby, right. it's a way of life, yeah. absolutely. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's different with bodybuilding. You know, you see him, with, he's always out there. He's 70-something, yeah. 80, and you see him in every video is doing that. Yeah. It's a way of life. So stand-up yeah. comedy, you know, I've been doing it longer than anyone here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Over 30-something years. And yeah. I still am, like, always out there doing it. Always it's working. Me, and it's always, like this. yeah. And it's like that. So we're yeah. lucky. Yeah, You know, yeah. we're very lucky because a lot of people don't have that thing that gets them out of bed. Absolutely. You yeah. know, and, and you I'm know, grateful for it, yeah. for sure. Oh, me very, too. Yeah. And then it gets me back in bed after a certain set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where you're just cuddling, you're in the fetal position. I will flee a scene like nobody's <laughs> business. I will, it blows my mind when people can hang out and oh, be like, after nothing a bad ever show, happens. After, oh, And they're like, God. hi, how are you? I'm like, I no, no, you, no, you should be in a noose. <laughs> you should be, no, I'm just kidding. But know. we yeah. get like that. Yeah. We get, we also get very down. Yeah. We get up for it, but we get very down. Yeah. And um, which is amazing. Do you have an album out or anything? Like a... I mean, I have like sets that are, you know, everyone's taping things now. Of so course, it's, it's not awful. like It's, and it's, and it sucks because it's like the, um, I got one of the, I haven't even watched it. My JFL tape this year. Okay. I haven't even watched it because the audience wasn't mic'd. Oh, right. So every yeah. single person, everybody's sounds like they're not doing well. Right. And it's just like, I wish I could have just gone and done JFL, had a good set, and no one would have ever heard of it ever again. When like, you, I yeah. don't need the clip to go, but I don't need that. <laughs> I don't, yeah, like, yeah, it yeah. doesn't, it makes me happy for one second, and, what, I, and then it's done. Yeah, and what's your writing process? Ooh. Um, so, it a lot of it is I'll be in the car, or I have to be somewhere by myself, and I put on voice recorder, and I just talk. Because oh. if I write it down, like, and and then once I do that, then I will put it to paper, and then then I'll write. So that you do vo so you do audio voice, and then you listen to it. Yeah, and then I and listen what, to it. And, and what then, about yeah. you? I I kind of like you think of like you're yeah like, like we I'm as like, oh, comics. I'll type it in my phone. Between, yeah, the difference yeah. between us and people is that we as comics and people as people, they see things and we all laugh at things, mm -hmm. but we write them down. Immediately. Yeah, immediately. Like if I'm, yeah. if I'm like, oh, I, yeah. I gotta, this is the premise, yeah. whatever. Yeah. I might not do, write the how joke. How do you do it? I, I might not write the full joke for it, but I'll uh -huh. write like the premise. I want to decide on this. Then I'll think on it. Then I'll go but on stage. Do, but where do you put it? On a piece of paper? Uh, or? It, d it depends on where, if I'm at home and I have paper and pen, I'll do it. Like if yeah. I wake up in the middle of the night, I do the paper and pen. Mm. If I'm outside and I don't have anything i'll just type it into my notes mm -hmm. yeah and then i go back into my notes and go hey what was that thing i was thinking about mm -hmm. and then i just write points and then i'll either like if i have to look something up to see what the stats are on this or whatever then i'll yeah. do that but what i my favorite thing to do is like roughly put it on stage mm -hmm. obviously when just a yeah. workout yeah and then listen again and then put tags on it listen yeah. to your set on stage listen yeah. to my set. i just yeah. record it on my phone not mm -hmm. like yeah, yeah, you know. just so you can hear it. Yeah, yeah. just audio. All my. Do you like hearing hearing yourself? No, I hate it. Sometimes I'm hilarious. running <laughs> and I'm listening to myself, and, uh, I, and yeah, I gotta stop. Fucking, I take it out. You just see me on the side of the road, like, like yeah. fucking crying, terrible, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cutting. You know, yeah, you know what I do, um, which which I think is a 
I mean, you guys have your version. I think mm-hmm. my version's better. I like this. It's, sim- <laughs> it's simpler. It's simpler. Okay. So you t- get your phone, you get your WhatsApp, mm-hmm. and you do audio. Yeah. And you go audio to text. Oh. So, yeah, you audio to oh. text. Watch, check this out. Watch this. Okay. So you go, Jim Smith is running down the street the other day because he saw his dog and his dog pooped in the fucking yard. And if you say that, it goes on text. Yeah. And then you save right. the text. And then what you do is you put that on a Word document and then you mm. organize it that way. And then, because you can, you can cut and paste the text from WhatsApp mm-hmm. to a Word document. And no, then no, you, have it you a, can. I can't. I don't no, even know what you're saying. <laughs> you're speaking <laughs> Chinese right now. I have, you have no an idea. assistant <laughs> yeah, to but it. You have someone yeah. to organize it for you. Yeah. And that way you, you have an assistant? It. No. There but we you go. can do it that way. You, do, you text it because <laughs> yeah. it goes Word to text, and yeah. then you cut and paste it and mm-hmm. put it in a Word document, and then yeah. you can organize it and then clean it up. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I don't think I really know how to use this, but the WhatsApp is extremely confusing. Confusing to me. What's up app? What's up? No, what's up? Yeah. It's, it's just what basically, the Brits it's use. like a, yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, basically. It's, like, yeah, you, I had it when I was in Australia and I was like, oh, yeah, you can call people, whatever. Yeah. And now people send my, the guy who edits my video sends it there and then the videos sit there because I don't ever look at WhatsApp and it don't notify me that I have mm. all these videos sitting there. Mm. Huh. Yeah. I'm not huh. really good at life that's okay. in general but i thought you were gonna say um technology and i said that's okay before you said life <laughs> um it's not okay <laughs> i'm not good at life it's, that's not okay <laughs> i don't know what it's to in my you. blood but we're getting through it um all right so where can people find you um they can find me on instagram this is kelly ryan uh my website this is kelly ryan mm-hmm. okay website like is kelly ryan comedy.com uh, you can find Night Coop Podcast, Ooh. you know, uh, and then... The you know, Jones Cafe the on 3rd. Jones Cafe, I'm there. I look like shit all yeah. the time. Why are there. you there? I just go, I get a coffee. You hang out there, right? I hang out, I do writing. Well, thank yeah. you for being on the uh, the Comedy Store Podcast. Yes. And uh, you're very, you're very <laughs> funny, you guys. She's very Check funny. Check her out. Thanks, Check guys. her out opening for Anthony Jeselnik all across America. She'll be with Bruce and Bakersfield. <laughs> And then she'll be with Touching. Allie, her sister, doing the podcast. Right. And watch Allie's TikTok. Where do we find her TikTok? Uh, her TikTok is, I believe, I am Allie Ryan. Cool. I am Allie Ryan. Or maybe that's her Instagram. I Eleanor, don't know. She's don't try to confuse us, Eleanor, Polly Shore. I'll thank you for filling in for Eleanor, Rick Ingram. Eleanor, I'll see you on the Dice Clay uh, oh Instagram. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you, guys. Like, subscribe, do all that shit. I appreciate you. Later, dudes. Thanks. Bye. 